get another idea. I'm a big fan of Toro mowers, and so I want to thank you, Toro, for sending me these mowers. We've got the Matte Black Super Cycler. This thing is freaking sweet. Look at it. And then I'm also very excited about the 60 volt battery powered mower over here because I've been looking for a battery powered line to use on my lawn. And so I want to get these out, put them to the test, see how they do cutting normal grass, thick grass, tall grass, all that stuff. I want to see how they cut. Um, I will do a full review on each of these individually later on, but for now, let's get these out, put them head to head, and see how they do. Over here in the red corner, we have the 22 inch Toro Recycler Flex for 60 volt max brushless motor. Cutting width 22 inches, height of cut one to four inches, all battery, no gas, deck material made out of purely steel drive system, got the personal pace. Over here in the black corner, we've got the Toro 21 inch Super Recycler 159cc OHV with auto choke, 21 inch wide height of cut, one and a quarter to four and a quarter inches. This has the personal pace system and this is a cast aluminum deck. This is all gas, no battery, mulch bag and side dart discharge capabilities. So we got the Super Recycler out and this thing did a really nice job. Not only does it look bad A, it performed pretty bad A too. So if you look down here, we have hardly any clippings left. I mean, it did a really good job and we're mowing wet grass. Um, one thing I wanna point out, my Time Master does not have this. This is new for the Super Recycler. It has this flex system. It's got rubber shocks down here, if you will. Um, it's got one height point adjustment instead of having multiple like they usually do. And this thing, where you would usually hit bumps and the mower would bounce around. This thing has this flex system and so only the handlebars seem to move, uh, move around. So really cool. The Super Cycler, like I said, has those little nodules under the deck that push the grass blades back into the mowing blade and chop the blades up finer bits. The Recycler has a mulching blade on it. And so I wanna compare, see how that one does cutting this grass. Let's get to it. All right, so one thing I love about the battery powered you don't have to have gas. You don't want to mess with that. You literally take the battery, slap it in here, just like that. Push your key right here. Oh yeah. You're ready to go mow. How sweet is that? Sounds like a box fan. Recycler cut pretty good. Um, compared to the Super Recycler, I don't really see too much of a difference in terms of the clippings. If you look here, I actually think the Recycler stripes a little bit better than the Super Recycler. I would love to put an actual stripe kit on both of these and see how that goes. Maybe that's for another video, but for now, the 60 volt, very impressive. It is lighter than the Super Recycler. Um, I wish it had the flex handle system because it would help with bumps and help keep the stripes straight. But for now, this thing is very, very nice to use. One thing I do like about the Recycler versus the Super Recycler, the Super Recycler has a separate mulch plug you have to remove if you want a bag. You have to keep it handy. You have to put it back in if you want to mulch. This thing right here, one button, ready to bag. Want to mulch? Whoop back up you can mulch so just so you can see that here 
all it is one button lifts that you're ready to bag switch it back to mulching very convenient very very convenient i love that we're going to take these we're going to find some tall grass we're going to put these to the test okay we are going to see how they do let's get to it Tall grass, no match for the Toros. Honestly, both of them did really well. I would say there's a few stragglers in each of these. If you heard whenever I did the battery powered, it kind of ramped up and revved up whenever it got through the thick grass. Kind of just to supercharge and chop it up even better. Uh, and that's awesome. So both of these did really well with the tall grass. So very impressed with that. So now that I've gotten both of these out here, put them to the test a little bit, um, I can say that you cannot go wrong with either of these. There are things that I like and dislike about each of them. Um, I'm gonna do a full review on each of these mowers. I'm gonna do a full review on the Super Cycler, full review on the battery line, the mower, the trimmer, the blower, and then I'm gonna do a separate video on the battery powered hedge trimmers because that's something some people will get if they get this model, that's some people, something people won't get. Um, but I will say, the handles as you can see right here the handle on the recycler is actually shorter than the super recycler um, might not be a big deal for some of you i'm 6'3 so the taller longer handle is a little bit better for me that one's not uncomfortable but the longer the better at least that's what i've been told the same thing when it comes to 22 inch deck size versus 21 inch deck size that one inch matters at least that's what my wife tells me 